Hi Water Sign! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your the 19th. This is for Thursday. This is your daily love soulmate connection. This is Water Sign. Sun, Moon, and Rising. So let's see what's going on in this magical day. Day of Jupiter. Pisceans. This is your day. It's very good. Dream big. That's what I can say. So let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is your energy of focus. Five of Pentacles. This is difficult energy. Someone being left out. When someone is being left out, and meaning someone left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> out in the cold. You have your five of ones. These are major breakthroughs. These are all conflicts. Conflict of saying yes. Conflict of not communicating a lot of argument struggle Mars rule can be a Scorpio can be an Aries also and you have your wheel of fortune I just said wheel of fortune because it's Jupiter day and Jupiter comes out this energy is the downside of this relationship the wheel of fortune goes up and down up and down right it has its own benefit so this is the downside we're seeing the downside of of two soulmates interacting one wants something, and then the other one wants something. Hence, there's no, um, not they don't see eye to eye. Five of Pentacles. They don't. They're not on the same page. But if it's in the down, the Wheel of Fortune is in the downside right now. Then of course it's gonna go up. Now this is the how, what's gonna happen after this um, energy has gone to its low. This is the lowest of low, because you have to grow after this. If you don't grow, you get butchered. Under the Five of Pentacles, we have Five of Cups. Wow, guys, talk about a lot of... This is like a lot of issues needs to be resolved. All fives. Emotion, finances, decision-making has to be addressed. When you address why they're not communicating, they address why you're not talking. Why, why, why you don't feel like this to me. This is how it's so showing here. And then you have your two of pentacles under the five of wands. Someone here is trying to make a choice, a decision. Should they stay here or should they just drop the ball? Because remember, the two of pentacles is a cycle. So you're in a cycle with someone who, one, they don't reciprocate. They don't interact the way that you want. And when you confront them, they basically, you know, doesn't want to say yes or no and undecisive because they are thinking of someone from the past. Underneath the Wheel of Fortune, we have here Temperance. Out of all the conflict comes balance. This is the energy when you guys had enough. You just basically got tired of it. Two of Pentacles, not getting tired. But Temperance over here is showing, you know, one, you're showing your patience. Because this is very testy energy. And then you come here with the Two of Pentacles trying to make the decision. But you want to make the decision to be on your favor. You don't want to let go of this connection. You're trying to see the good in it. You're trying to marry the situation that, well, if they're like this, it's because they're like that. So you're coming up with reasons to stay in the connection. Because this is your soulmate, the Temperance, you know, the whole Two of Cups. And you have your Two of Swords now. More Twos are coming. More decision making, more path is being shown. Deep thinking, this person is having. Queen of Swords, strong energy in, in, in the middle over here. It's like someone really wants to cut it out. Like, cut it out, be with me or don't be with me. Underneath the Temperance is a Three of Swords over here. Can be a third person involved here now. While the other person is maintaining their balance. Because... The reason why they can't really make that decision is because they're still longing from a past relationship. I don't sense that this uh, this uh, Three of Swords is a current person. This is a past energy that they're holding on to. Underneath the Two of Swords can be a Leo or this is the moment of enlightenment where the person realizes finally when you made that bold move to cut them out that they have to come out of their own uh, misery. And then you have your King of Swords, King and Queen of Swords total. This person is going to mirror you. They're going to raise your vibration to be with you, basically. It's like you push the right button with this person to finally, you know, get them out of the cycle. 
and an eight of wands here movement now all stagnation in the fives so that is when the wheel of fortune is at the low now it's going up right so because you have to make sure that one things are in balance and when you make the talk when you make the decision it was for the higher good and you made it to a point where I are you with me or I'm just gonna go and then here it comes they they're gonna be enlightened can be a fire sign over here you have here temperance Sagittarian Piscean also an air sign so conflict here was a downside of the wheel of fortune that's going up so I'm gonna continue this reading guys thank you very much for watching have a wonderful wonderful Thursday and I'll see you guys again bye